we will greet one another Happy New Year. That is the standard greeting for tonight until tomorrow. And then I ask you, when you say Happy New Year, are you really happy? And when you hear Happy New Year said to you, does it really make you happy? Is there real happiness in our greeting for the new year? Or is it just a polite, courteous, standard greeting that we do not really mean, that we do not really experience? How come we can greet Happy New Year and not be happy and be greeted Happy New Year and not receive happiness? I will answer my own question. It is very important that before you say Happy New Year, you first say thank you. You would not be able to recognize happiness unless you know how to give thanks. At sa amin po sa bahay, nung kami maliliit, palaging kailangan ka magsabing salamat po kasi turo ng matatanda yung sakit na walang utang na loob walang gamot dyan. You will never be happy, you will never be well if you don't know how to say thank you. If thank you is a very small sentence of only two words, why is it that people find it difficult to say thank you? And I will answer my own question again. People are not able to say thank you easily. People have difficulty saying thank you because we are a people who have many hurts. Maraming sama ng loob. Who among us has never experienced being loved less than the others? Being recognized less than the others? Being appreciated less than the others? Being valued less than the others? And when you are valued less than what you think, when you are valued less than what you deserve, then you start to feel angry. Then you start to get hurt then you start to replace gratitude with anger. Then I would rather be angry than gracious. Then I would rather be mad and revengeful rather than be gracious and kind. So people are not able to say thank you at the end of the year because this year has hurt us so much. Because this year has given us too many persons who have hurt us. Who have loved us less, who have recognized us less, who have appreciated us less, who have given us less time than we think we deserve. And therefore, how can I say thank you? Kapos. The love is short. The attention is short. The love is lacking. How can I give thanks? How can I say thank you? Then you understand, my dear brothers and sisters, that the jubilee of a year, like the new year, must always be accompanied by not only thank you, but forgiveness. Forgiveness. Why do we have to forgive? Because all of us have been loved less. All of us have been lied to. All of us have been deceived by our beloved. All of us have experienced what it is to be taken for granted. So kung ganito, at ang palagi na lang nating ambisyon sa buhay, that I should be loved more than I deserve, more than what you have given me, 
because I am a gifted person. I am an entitled person. And therefore, I am a deserving person. Then, you understand that thank you will become very difficult because you are hurting. Rather than say thank you, you want to say, may araw ka rin. Rather than say thank you, you would rather say, kahit pabulong, mabamatay ka rin. Because you have not been given the love that you think you deserve. Every year, my dear brothers and sisters, we are given a chance for a jubilee. And the jubilee is the new year. What do we do during the jubilee? We celebrate. But another important component of Jubilee is forgiveness. Have you not noticed yourself? You are tired. You take a vacation. After the vacation, you are still tired. You are tired and you go to sleep longer. After sleeping longer, you wake up still tired. Or you go to an expensive, expensive hotel. You take buffet in an expensive restaurant. And after eating and eating, you still feel an emptiness. Why? Again, I will answer my own question. Because you have not forgiven anyone. When you forgive, all vacations will be pleasant. When you accompany every vacation with forgiveness, when you accompany every dine out with forgiveness, when you accompany every break, every sabbatical with forgiveness, when you accompany a social encounter with forgiveness, you are going to be enriched and refreshed and renewed by that vacation, by that dinner, by that party. Why? Because of forgiveness. In other words, my dear brothers and sisters, the formula is this. You want to be happy? The mother of happiness is thank you. You want to be able to say thank you without resentment, without hurt? The mother of thank you is, I forgive. So, if you really want to be happy this new year, don't just party, don't just call friends, don't just drink more, don't just eat more, don't just go to an expensive rendezvous. Rather, make sure you forgive someone. Make sure you forgive. And then when the hurt is gone, you'll be able to say thank you. And when thank you is frequent, you will be happy always.